Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Kayla with Kayla's Fragrance Tome. Today I, I tried filming a haul actually, but I'm so nasally and I can't really smell that well um, due to seasonal allergies. So I figured, you know, if I can't film that haul, then I should film my wax collection because that's another video that I've been wanting to do. This is going to be the first part of my wax collection. Uh, the first part is going to consist of loaves and brittles, and then I believe the second part will be all the rest of my collection. Just a quick disclaimer, um, this video was not made with the intention to brag or to show off, nothing of that sort. Um, I love watching collection videos, I love watching wax collection videos, perfume collection videos, you get my gist. Um, so this is entertaining to me. I like seeing what other people have and what other people really enjoy. So that is the sole purpose of the video and it's also a great way for me to kind of like self inventory and really take a look at how much I own and hopefully, you know, take a step back from all this purchasing. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna start off with my loaf. Okay, so first, this is not technically a loaf, but uh, it was stored with my loaves, which I find kind of funny. <laughs> this is a mini loaf from Savannah Blue in Forever in Blue Jeans, which is in flannel sheets and downy ultra blue. Um, I bought like seven of these because I love this scent. I got it in a de-stash in a regular size loaf. Um, so I bought like a bunch of her mini loaves. And this is from 2021. This is a really, really good, fresh, clean scent if you are a fan of downy blue. Okay. Next is Salt Mountain Circus Animal Stuffed Sugar Cookies. And the set notes are Circus Animal Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Frosted Sugar Cookies. I also got that in a D-stash. Next is Princess Cut, which is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Cherry Wedding Cake. This is also from Salt Mountain Melts. I don't think I told you, I'm starting off with the chopped loaves today. Next is L3, Hung Out to Dry, which this is just described as like a really fresh linen scent, which it is, really good. All right, then we have Vintage Seek Scents, Meet Me in St. Louis, which is described as warm, cozy linen with a hint of sweetness. I love this laundry scent. It's like clean, but not astringent. Um, like a lot of people complain that, you know, laundry scents are too like, like, I don't know, like hospital, like cleaner scent. This is really good. This smells like a, like a sweet um, fabric softener, which is like kind of my favorite kind of laundry. This is super, super good. Um, I would recommend it if you like clean scents. If you don't like laundry, I don't think you're going to like that because it is, you know, at the end of the day, still laundry. Okay, and then this was also in a D-stash. This is Sugar Melts by Stacey Watermelon Cake. Very good. So that's all my chopped loaves. I'm going to get my full loaves next. Okay guys, so I ordered it in order of vendor. So I'm just gonna save the vendor, show the items, and then move on. So first we have Vintage Chic Scents, and this is in Waffle Cone Bakery. Scent notes are buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey butter waffle cone, a hint of sugared almonds, like you just walked into the bakery. That's a light mint green color. And then we have Ralphie's Bunny Pajamas, which is sugar cookies, fresh strawberries, Fluffy Marshmallow Noel. Okay, next we have L3. This one is in Edible Undies, which is Pink Sugar and Spin Cycle, a very strong clean scent. This is very strong. I actually used um, a two-pack buns in this and it had great throw. Um, it's not like the other scent from Vintage Chic that's like a sweet fabric softener. To me, this is very much Pink Sugar mixed with laundry. They're separate notes, but they are blended together nicely. Um, yeah, this is a good one. Next, we have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Strawberry Pound Cake. Self-explanatory, but this smells amazing. I personally never would have thought of blending those two together, but this is really good. And if you'll notice, some of my loaves have D-Stash written on it and then the date. I do that to remind myself that these items were purchased through a D-Stash, so I don't know the exact date of it. Um, some people will write dates on it when they de-stash, but not all of them. So I try to prioritize using these for the sole purpose that I don't know when these were poured. These could be from years ago. I just don't know. So I prioritize these if, you know, if I'm going to go for cutting a loaf, I'll probably cut these first um, prior to my other ones and try to use these first. Just a little heads up there because you will see it uh, in my collection. 
Next is Mellow Fireside Paolo Santo and Buttercream Frosting. This one smells good, but to me it just smells like Marshmallow Fireside and then on warm, you can really get the Buttercream Frosting. This is Ice Cold Lemon Lime Ginger Ale. This is really good. This is like a cousin to Fizzy Pop, if you like her Fizzy Pop. I personally prefer Fizzy Pop on cold. I haven't worn this yet, but this is also really good and it's going to be perfect for the summer. Okay, next is Santa's on Keto, which is vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafers, vanilla cookies, brown sugar butter cookies. Very good, sweet um, vanilla scent. I hope that I can smell this on warm because I've told you guys before I do struggle with vanilla scents here in my apartment, but uh, we'll see. Okay, next is Cafe Vienna Coconut Cream Frappuccino. This one smells super good on cold. That was also purchased through D-Stash, but I forgot to write the date and D-Stash on it. Um, this is another one from that same D-Stash. This is Love's Baby Soft Boom Boom Cream Type. I love this scent. You really smell like that baby powder. Um, I'm just going to sniff it real quick. Yep. To me, I just got a strong baby powder. I'm not getting boom boom, but that's okay. Um, I love baby powder scents. I've mentioned this before. I have a daughter and I love putting these scents in her nursery. Um, it helps with the diaper pail stench and it just makes it, you know, feel like an actual baby's room. So I love it. Um, okay, next is Salt Mountain Melts and I have LA County Fair here. Since our Fruity Pebbles Vanilla Ice Cream Cotton Candy smells delicious. Next is Bread and Jam for Francis, which is baked zucchini bread, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and creamy butter. This was also, these two were also purchased at a D-Stash, but that was before I started dating mine. Oh my goodness, Hungry Ghost. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. I have a small story to tell you with this loaf. Um, someone was D-Stashing this one with the LA County Fair. I was interested in the LA County Fair. Um, but I was, you know, unsure of this one because it had pumpkin pecan waffles in it. And prior to this scent, I was terrified of pumpkin pecan waffles because I'd had another vendor's um, blend that had like a maple syrup note in it. And I thought that it was from the pumpkin pecan waffles when in fact they, the vendor had actually added maple syrup to that blend. So um i bought it you know just because i really wanted to try salt mountain i heard great things about her and this is my favorite scent from her it is so strong it's a powerhouse performer um and because of this scent i now love pumpkin pecan waffles um yeah i i love it i melt it all the time and yeah uh, this is like a great scent i highly recommend it if she offers it soon get it this is actually my second loaf because when i melted it the first time i was like i need more so um great time uh next is crunch berry pound cake which is berries vanilla buttercream crunch sweet sugar and pound cake so this one is not my favorite on cold um again i don't like to de-stash my wax until i melt it and then if i really don't like it then i usually actually won't de-stash it I usually give it to my brother or my mom who also melt wax so this one's okay on cold, just not my favorite. Next is Outer Banks. This is Beach Nights, Marshmallow Cake, and Sugar Cookie. Can we talk about how beautiful this looks? It looks like waves. It's so pretty, and this smells amazing. Um, I love her Beach Nights. The Marshmallow Cake and Sugar Cookie just add an extra sweetness to it. This one's amazing, and I have to cut into this one soon. Okay, next is Gumball Machine, which is bubblegum, vanilla cupcakes, and strawberry. I was afraid of this scent, but this smells so good. This smells like a super sweet strawberry with a slight gum undertone. This is amazing. I cannot wait to melt this one. And look how pretty the glitter is with that bright pink. Oh. I love Salt Mountain. She's one of my favorite vendors, if you cannot tell. I just think her aesthetic... Um, her wax performs really good. Just everything about it. Love, love, love. Okay, this one is the Lodge, which is Palo Santo and Milk and Cookies. This is okay to me. I know a lot of people love it, but it just reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside. Um, but we'll see how it performs on warm. Oh, another favorite. This is White Cow, which is Vanilla Shake, Vanilla Wafers, and Maraschino Cherry. This smells like a moist, like super moist vanilla cake. 
uh, with a ton of maraschino cherries and that syrup that comes in the jar on top of it. It is so good. Um, I made the mistake of only getting this in a souffle in her pre-order and then the next day I went on the Stash group on Facebook and luckily someone sold this to me. I was really lucky to get this. I love this scent and I do need to cut it and enjoy it. I want to say my next um, video will be a chop and chat because I do need to cut a lot of these loaves um, to enjoy them. I have the problem with buying loaves and I don't chop them guys. Am I the only one that does this? Like loaves are the biggest form of wax I own yet I'm I hoard them. It just make it make sense. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, this is strawberry sugar bread, which is fresh picked strawberries, fresh baked bread, and sugar. So unfortunately, on cold, this is not my favorite. I think it's the fresh picked strawberry scent that's not, I don't know, leaning bakery enough for me. Um, I'm hoping on warm, I'm going to love it. But on cold, it's not my favorite. Okay, this is Lurid Apothecary, fa la la la, which is peppermint, vanilla bean, noel, and buttermint candies. This is very pretty. To me, this just smells like peppermint on cold, um, which is a good and a bad thing. I wanted more of like a creamy vanilla peppermint, um, but this I think will help great with my allergies at nighttime. So I do need to cut this one up and maybe it'll just be a nighttime milk week, but that's fine. Okay, next we have the Sassy Girl Aroma. I was gonna say Salt Mountain. This is OMG Pretzel, which is strawberry white cake, sugar cookie, marshmallow, and pretzel. Um, this I also got in a de-stash, and I chopped it, but I have yet to use it. This smells amazing on cold. One of my favorite scents is Strawberry Bakery, um, and that one is just like the perfect mix of a sweet strawberry with a salty pretzel. It smells so good. Next is Blueberry Pumpkin Cornbread. This is Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, Blueberry Cornbread, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This smells so good on cold. I know a lot of people have raved about this scent. I melted Sweet Coraline from Sassy Girl Aroma yesterday, which is very similar. I think it has just one different note, which this one has cornbread. I can't remember what the other one has, but I think they smell similar on cold, so I have no doubt that I'm going to love this one on warm. All right, so the next two are Swanky. I have not purchased from Swankly. Swankly. <laughs> I have not purchased from Swankly. Oh my God, I said it again. I have not purchased from Swanky directly. There we go. From her website. I've only gotten her stuff in these dashes. I do have to purchase from her though because I feel like all her stuff performs great for me in my home. Um, so this is Holiday Cheer, which is masala chai, a touch of eggnog, sugar cookie, cozy vanilla cream, and Mrs. Claus cookies. This smells like a really sweet vanilla scent. Really good. It doesn't smell like it's a Christmas scent at all for me. So I have to cut that one and use it. This is Strawberry Overload, which is a strawberry experience. All of Swanky's strawberry scents layered upon layers of strawberry goodness. Really good strawberry scents. Um, nothing crazy, but I love strawberry bakery, so. Okay, the last one is the only Teddy Bee's loaf I own, which is, of course, the infamous Milk and Cookies. This is creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, and buttery cookie dough. This is amazing. I love this. I do think I prefer milk and cookies with zucchini bread. That blend a little bit better, but this one is excellent on its own. Um, you know, I actually haven't warmed it yet, but on cold, this smells so good. So I can't speak for the performance, but the scent itself is amazing. So I actually did find two more. Um, and this is the Salt Mountain Hungry Ghost that I was telling you about that I fell in love with. That's the first one. And then L3 Lavender Toasted Mallow Vanilla Lace. I love this scent on cold, but unfortunately it's not the best thrower for me. Um, it's not unscented, nothing like that. It's just not as strong as I want it to be. I'm not sure if it's because of the Toasted Mallow and Vanilla Lace making up like a good portion of it, but I love the way it smells on cold. So maybe I'll have to try it in the tea light to see if that enhances the performance. Okay, so that was all of my loaves. Um, I'm gonna do brittles next, and then that'll be the end of this video. Quickly wanted to show you how I store my brittle bars. So this is actually a drawer in my dresser, and this is where I store them. And as you can see, they store very nice, upright. 
and they take up very honestly very little space compared to other pieces of wax I am missing some bars here because they're in my melting basket but I'll be showing those as well so I just wanted to show you how I store them so you can get an idea so we're back with brittle bars um, I went ahead and inserted a clip showing you where and how I store them and I went ahead and pulled all of them and sorted them by vendor so let's get into it so the first vendor is lured apothecary so this first one is Ravenclaw, which is Palo Santo, Salty Sea Air, Toasted Marshmallow, and Cream. This was my favorite scent out of the Harry Potter collection. Next is Slytherin, which is Key Lime Pie and Pie Crust, another good one. This was another favorite. This is a Mortensia Potion, which is Love Spell, Saltwater Mermaid, and Vanilla Cream. Okay, that's all from Lurid. I have a couple more bars in my melting basket. Okay, I have a Soul Brittle Bar from Ava's in Fruity Pebble Marshmallow Bars. This smells amazing and look how pretty it is. Next, I have the Melting Co., another one of my favorite vendors. This is May Did It Best, which is Twinkies, Sugar Cookie Dough, Vanilla Custard, and Birthday Cake. The next one is Peach Raspberry Krispies, which is Peach Nectar, orange raspberry, and rice crispy treats. Okay, then we have fresh sheets, which is the scent of snuggle blended with vanilla and cashmere. The colors on this, it's just gorgeous, so pretty. Uh, Fruit Loop Magic, which is Fruit Loops cereal, sugar cookies, and whipped marshmallow fluff. I gave one of these to my mom because I ordered two and she loves it. And the last from the Melting Co. is Time to Tango, which is Gain Apple Mango Tango blended with fluffy towels. Another really good one. All right, next um, is Sassy Girl Loma, and I would say I have the most brittles from her. First one here is At the North Pole, which is Sweet Peppermint Sticks with a Creamy Rich Vanilla. Charity Rose loves that one, and for good reason. It's really good. Next is Strawberry Macarons which is sweet strawberry and rhubarb blended with creamy vanilla and sponge sugar. This is so good. Um, I really wanna try her strawberry cupcakes, which is another fan favorite, but I have not yet. This is Huckleberry Beach, which is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, cotton candy, and huckleberries. I saw Drew get this in his um, last order, not last order, but one of his orders as a sample and he raved about it. So um, when I saw she put it on the pre-order list, I went ahead and ordered it. Does smell really good. Oath, this is another popular one from her. Toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. Lots of notes there, but this smells delicious. I'm not really sure what the difference between this and her regular beach night scent is, but this one's amazing. Okay, a favorite here, I have Date Night. This is sweet strawberries, vanilla ice cream, and peach nectar. I actually got about a third of a brittle bar in a random destash bag, like a mystery bag, and this was in it and I fell in love. So I have not one, but two, because I know um, sometimes with Sassy, it takes a while for you to see your favorite scent back. Next, we have Easter Parade. This is ruby red grapefruit, sugar, orange, citrus, and whipped cream. This is delicious. You can literally smell this out of the bag. Super strong. If you like sweet citrus scents, I uh, highly recommend this one. Um, my first love, which is strawberry pound cake and birthday cake. Pure deliciousness. I really like Julie's birthday cake scents. I'm silly. I love birthday cake on its own, and I saw she offered it, but... I tend to go for the blends rather than single scent notes, but she has a great birthday cake scent. You can actually really pick it up in her blends, which sometimes birthday cake can get lost in translation. Okay, next is Death by Cereal, which is blueberry, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Crunch Berries, and Vanilla Bean and Well. I love my cereal scents. That one is no exception. It smells really good. Next is Marie, which is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, vanilla, whipped cream, marshmallow meringue, sandalwood, and white magnolia. That one's similar to Oath. Then we have Audrey May, which is freshly sliced strawberries, warm pound cake, and whipped cream. Lavender cookies is next, which is lavender, vanilla, marshmallow, and sugar cookies. 
I love anything and everything lavender. Okay, then we have Fruit Fizz. This is another powerhouse. Fruity Pebbles, Fizzy Soda, Cotton Candy, Blueberry, and Satsuma. Love this one. This is another one that you can literally smell out of the package. It's so strong. Um, I can't wait to melt this. Next is Sunset on the Beach, which is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Vanilla Waffle Cone, Beach Night, and Marshmallow. Super yummy. Uh, Santos Royale, which is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. This one smells really good. And last from Sassy Girl Aroma is Frosted Lemon Sugar, oh, sorry, Frosted Lemon Cookies, which is fresh from the oven sugar cookies frosted with a sugary lemon frosting. Pretty self-explanatory, but this one's really good as well. The last vendor I have to show you here is Made to Melt. Um, have you guys tried Made to Melt before? I feel like she's a very underrated vendor. The um, owner's name is Sis M. I can't pronounce her last name. Um, but she's very, very kind, very sweet um, lady, and she's very easy to work with if you decide to do customs. Um, I will say her scent list is somewhat limited. Um, she does, I guess, order only a certain amount of oils per time, so um, sometimes she does run out of uh, oils. But she's a very nice lady. Um, her wax performs wonderfully in my apartment, which is obviously another reason why I support her. Um, so yeah, check her out. She's a pretty underrated in my opinion. So made to melt here. I have, this is my, my custom. I named it fruit cake, which is strawberry pound cake, fruit loops, and buttercream frosting. She asked me if I wanted glitter and I said, heck yes, girl, pour on that glitter. And this is one of my favorite bars. I think that's why I haven't melted it yet. Cause it's just a work of art. So pretty. Okay, next, this is not a custom. This is lavender vanilla snuggle. Pretty self-explanatory, smells really good, very fresh and clean. This is another one of my customs. This is breakfast in bed, which is cupcakes at Tiffany's, zucchini bread and pumpkin pecan waffles. This one is so strong. Another one that you can smell right out of the bag. Okay, another one of my favorites from her, um, pink petal tea cakes. This is delicious. This is rose and a sweet vanilla cake. And this is surprisingly very strong. Um, when I put this in my bedroom, I can smell it in my main living area, which is like insane for my house. Um, my apartment ceilings are super duper high. So whenever a scent performs like that, I know it's like powerhouse, need to keep um, purchasing it. So I'll have to tell her to pour me some soon. Okay, another one of my favorites from her is Strawberry Pound Cake Blueberry Lemon Danish. You really get the Blueberry Lemon Danish in this, and it's like literally mouthwatering. Um, super good. This is Frankenberry Taffy, which is Frankenberry cereal mixed with saltwater taffy. Pretty good scent, not my favorite from her, but it's okay. Fruit Loops Taffy, this one, first of all, can we just look how cute that is. Um, I ordered this. My mom stole it from me because she loved it, so I ordered another one from her website. This smells just, you know, what dreams are made of in cereal blends. So good. Okay, this is another one of my customs, Squeaky Clean, which is Downy Unstoppables, Snuggle and Fluffy Towels. Love this. You know, I love laundry and bakery, kind of total opposite ends of the spectrum, but those that's my jam. Okay, next one of my customs is Give Me Some Sugar, which is buttercream frosting, sugar cookie dough, and birthday cake. Really good, and you know, I love the glitter. Um, lavender marshmallow birthday cake. Really good one. And then finally, just plain apple mango tango, which is another one of my favorite laundry scents. Okay, so that's everything that was in my pull-out drawer. I'm gonna bring you my melting basket, which has a lot of my brittles, um, show you that, and then we will be done with this first video. All right, guys, final few here. First, we have Pink Coconut Cactus from Sassy Girl Aroma. Set notes are coconut water, pink berry and black currant, seaside freesia, sun-kissed lily and jasmine, driftwood, tropical musk, and cactus blossom. We have Hummingbird, which is tart kiwi, middle notes of lilac and tiger lily with fresh base notes of pineapple and pear. 
pumpkin donut shop type, which is a delicious smelling aroma that combines the smell of fresh hot donuts with vanilla and pumpkin spice. The Melting Co. Falling Sand, Black Chamomile, Fabuloso, and Morning Air. Another Lavender Marshmallow Birthday Cake from Made to Melt. Um, a custom from Made to Melt, Strawberry Festival, which is Strawberry White Cake, Strawberry Jam Sugar Cookie. Back to Sassy, uh, Christmas Cupcakes, Fresh Baked Cupcakes with Candy Canes Crushed on Top. Fresh Lemon Summer Linen from Made to Melt. And then Learn Apothecary Butterbeer, which is butterscotch, cream soda, and whipped cream. Can we just admire how cute this brittle is? Oh, love it. This is another custom from Made to Melt. This is Heads Up, which is 7-Up Pound Cake, Lemon Sugar Cookie, and Cream Cheese Frosting. I'm almost done with this one. This is the Melting Co. Santa's Coming to Town. Butter cookies, snickerdoodles, and sweet sugar milk. This one smells so good, guys. To me, something about this smells like chocolate chip cookies, but not nauseating. It's it's amazing. I love that one. It's a really good bakery scent. Sassy Girl Sweet Tooth, which is wild berry mousse, strawberry raspberry guava, and cotton candy frosting. Pippi's Long Stockings, which is peach meringue, strawberry, toffee, Tiny hints of chocolate, buttercream, and creamy, fluffy vanilla cake. This one's really good as well. Great performer in my open concept living area. Made to melt, um, just plain strawberry pound cake. The Melting Co. Strawberry Crunch Cakes, which is strawberry pound cake and crunch berries. Sassy Girl Sweet Coraline, Blueberry Zucchini, Vanilla Bean Noel Pumpkin Waffles. This one's amazing. Made to Melt Choco Mookies, which is cafe mocha and sugar cookies. I'm working on finishing this one up. It's actually what I'm warming right now. Uh, Sassy Girl Sugared Peonies, which is pink peony, whipped cream, and cotton candy. Also finishing that one up. This one I have actually haven't used, but the brittle is broken. This is Kiss Me on the Beach, which is Mirabella Plum Toasted S'mores, Black Raspberry, Sea Salt, Amber, Cotton Candy, and Toasted Marshmallow. Lured Apothecary Hogwarts School of Magic, which is rainbow sherbet, cotton candy frosting, and cotton candy. Such a cute brittle bar. I loved her Harry Potter collection. L3 Fizzy Soda. Love this scent. This is actually one of my favorite scents. I can melt this probably every day and not get tired of it. This is another one of my favorite scents. Um, made to melt pink petal tea cakes. And then last one I have in here is a small one, uh, made to melt cereal marshmallow. All right guys, so that was part one of my wax collection. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it wasn't too long. I will be back in a couple days with the second part of my collection, which is just a large bin that I keep under my bed with the rest of my wax. And then I will also show you my overflow bin, which is a lot smaller. All right, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below, bye.